Sorry, hello, welcome back again. What I want to do today is to introduce to you the new lead body qualifications in regards to the 5357 level 3. Now, be aware that these documents can change, but the principle remains the same. Its content, its requirements, the information you need to be a qualified electrician is still consistent. That does not change. Okay. So what I want to do here is to just turn over a page, okay, and show you that here is what we can be looking at. Now, be aware that. Your work must be to the required standard. You cannot be a qualified electrician without your completion of your portfolio. And this is the work you need to complete your portfolio. Okay. Now, bear with me while I just turn over here a little bit. If you look at the contents, you'll see that there are seven units. Okay. Approximately seven units, I believe. They're the same amount of units that you had in the 2357. Okay. But here, you're now being compelled or being informed that your details for your portfolio must now be more specific. Now here is showing you your work based logbook, what is required. Down here, if you're going further, you can see that it stipulates the evidence to prove your competence as a qualified electrician is required. Now all I'm doing is giving you a snapshot, okay? This document, if you're doing it, the new 5357, is something that you would be familiar with or you would be provided with by your college. Now, you'll notice here also that this is similar to what you had to do previously. If you're doing the first this 5357 for the first time, then you will not be familiar with the 2357. But I can assure you that the principle is the same. Okay. Now, evidence forms to be completed in this unit. It tells you the forms that you need now to be completed. Whereas before, it was not specific in the forms because a method assessment, a risk assessment, method statements, uh, items list, they're all forms which can be and which should need to be completed and which forms part of your portfolio elements. These was not clear before, but they definitely have been listed now. And I'm just bear with me while I turn over a little bit more further as well. Okay. Here you can see that in regards to unit one or two, apply health and safety and environmental considerations. The requirement is that it's the same as it was for the two three five seven. Nothing much has changed here. Now somewhere in here it now tells you specifically that you now need to provide photographic evidence for your work. Okay, so there's no if or buts now as to whether or not we need to photograph evidence or where you had a situation where uh, someone would say, well, look, it doesn't ask for photographic evidence. It's not asking for it specifically. 
it's not insisting that it is there and it's not form part of your requirements you must now have photographic evidence okay all we want to do here is just show you what if you have completed this you can mark them down as picked okay but be aware that this is not a tick box exercise it is not an english exercise it is a practical exercise so everything that you tick on this element here needs to have been done and you must have evidence for it okay don't go on the road of thinking well we don't need someone saying to you well we don't need evidence for, for that because uh, it doesn't say so you need evidence for everything that you're doing to be a qualified electrician okay and sitting girls can only go so far in trying to make sure that you meet the standards okay this is just an outline telling you a set of direct observations okay basically now there's nothing wrong with producing your own the set of producing his own forms but they must be consistent for all students and they must be similar format to what sitting girls or the lead body or whichever the lead body may be requires again here you can see that this is quite good now it's interesting enough that 102 is quite long sorry excuse me a second while I try to turn this over it seems to be fighting back now 102 is quite large it's quite a large unit and I think it was a large unit in the 2357 as well. It wasn't small. But most people did not actually complete it as it was meant to have been completed. And I've seen some strange parts being done as an English lesson rather than as a practical exercise. You must know your health and safety requirements. And you must show full evidence for everything that you have done okay I'm not going to take on that too long okay so that's for you to follow up on yourselves once you have the doc documents I'll just move forward a little bit and go to 106 okay and here is 106 I'll just go back a little bit bear with me while I fiddle about Right, organize and oversee the electrical work environment. Now, that you would, you would need to be familiar with and you should be able to put into place. Okay. Bear with me for a second while I think around again. Okay, and again, 106, organize and oversee the electrical work environment. Okay. Now again here, it is the same requirement as it is for the 2357. That has not changed. The main change in this is that it has now stipulated photographic evidence and all work must now be evidenced by an expert witness. Or the majority of your work should be ex written up or be done with an expert witness. Now remember your expert witness is your supervisor, the person you're working with or the electrician you're work working with, he or she can be your expert witness. But remember that they will have to write up the worksheet, they'll have to sign it, you will need to sign it also as well. It will need to be dated and it needs to be kept into your folder. Now there is no grounds on which your folder should be at the college. Your folder needs to be with you because you're the person who has to complete that work and make sure that work is done to your to the satisfaction 
as specified. Now, always back up your work. Keep a copy of everything you've done. Keep a copy of it in a separate folder at home, so if the folder gets lost at college, you're not being left to do things again. Okay? This is vital. Again, all I'm going to do here is just turn over and give you a little snapshot here, okay? Now, all I'm doing here is giving you a snapshot. This is not full, okay? So be aware of that. Okay? And now, thank you for now.